Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning back into the Rage Quit Radio live play series. I'm your host, the Roman in the Know, Mr. Joe, and joining me today are Josh, Trav, and William, as we're going to be t- tackling Boss Monster at Josh's request. Woo woo! Um, for those of you who have been a fan of RQR back in our podcast days, we have covered this as a review before, but we haven't done a live play before, so uh, it's kind of fitting we're finally getting around to that. <laughs> um, I guess we'll go in turn order of introducing monsters. Uh, turn order, and this is represented by the experience value of your monster boss. I am playing Cleopatra, Mother of Mummies, who likes thieves to come by, and uh, we'll cover level up when they happen. To my left... And going second will be William as... What was it, Zyzax? Sure. I will go with that. I, I don't... I, this is my first time playing this game. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, apparently... Uh, is it Paladins? Uh, clerics. Paladin, cleric. You're a lich. So, so you know, cleric. religious folks want to smite you. Oh, because so liches, liches get stitches, William. Liches get stitches. <laughs> get smote, they got, they got get, get to me smoked. first. <laughs> I'm playing Seducia, Sorceress of Suckiness. <laughs> and Josh Sexiness. is rounding us out with it's Robobo. He would pity the fools that he crushes with your fighters, but he has no pity because he's a robot. <laughs> All right, Robobo. I'm sure, oh, oh, oh. I'm sure there's an update for that. <laughs> there's an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, we already took care of the rest of our setup, so we're going to move right in the beginning of the turn where we reveal four heroes since we're, since we're playing a four-man variant. Our initial lineup consists of a fighter, a thief, a cleric. Two clerics. Oh, in yeah. the right. So I didn't think anyone had. Refilled. Well, this one does actually. Oh, okay. So construction zone is Robobo's build base, which says when you build this, you immediately build an extra oh. room. So uh, Robobo's extra room will be uh, Liger's Den. One cannot play spells. Okay. It uh, if it's a build you. phase spell, you play it. You can play it anytime during the build. If it's a no, like action phase, that's when we're doing the heroes themselves, when they're in the dungeons. Okay, now the actual, my actual room for the build phase. Okay. Everyone's got their build action. Yep. Ah. Yep. Build All right. phase. So you have more. You have more rooms than me. Okay. Which does? Which is what? Allows me to build one more. Okay. Okay. So build next room. Yep. 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 There it is. There. Oh, I can't put lighter than out. Can't put it this out. Was it a advanced room or something? Yep. So I'll use that one. All right. Any other spells? Yes. No. Reveals. When you build this monster for, uh, room, choose one monster room for the discard pile and play it in your hand. That's the monstrous monument. What was your next room there, uh, Will? Uh, open grave. Open grave and golem factory. So the golem factory is if someone dies in this room, you draw a room card. Yep. And open grave is once per turn if a hero dies in this room, choose one room card from the discard pile and put it into your hand. This seems really good. Yeah. Also, the fact that the Dragon Hatchery is going to make bait phase pretty interesting and entertaining. Wish I had good rooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, destroy this room to choose a face down hero in an opponent's scorekeeping area and send it back through their dungeon. <laughs> Hope you didn't use something that had to destroy rooms to do that. Yeah. Anyway, that is the build phase. Yep. So, moving on to the bait phase. Yep. Uh, swords. How many people have? Two. I have two and two. Yep, so they stays in town. Yep. Money bags. One. 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 No, stays one. in town. I have one. Yep. Okay, yeah. That's one of all. Uh, holy symbols. Yes, sir. They're going that way. One. Straight to you, guy. All right. So, they, so the way it works is they go and start at the beginning, and mm-hmm. they both go through the uh, dungeon. Okay. Um, so they have a certain amount of health, 
they go your wounds do a certain, a certain amount, amount of health. Yeah, if right they uh, take, take enough wounds before they get to your mo monster, you get to go and collect them as, as uh, souls. Okay. Otherwise, they're going to do this much uh, damage to you. Okay. If, if you take five five wounds, you die. And okay. you get a new boss monster. Okay. But tip, typically, if you die, that's pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first, What's that the, at the bottom? Uh, this is that's for this, setup. This deter uh, okay. determines uh, if it is like you have to have at least four players playing to have that to in have him in the deck. Okay. All right. So as stands, both of them are going to be doing wounds to you. Yep. So, so they both go and walk through your dungeon. They go and hit hit, hit in the face, and then they uh do, face up, and then they do a wound to you. Yeah, I was gonna say pilot underneath his wounds. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, well, that's assuming. Did you have any spells you'd play during the action of this? No, and did not. the rooms do anything special to them? Uh, no. No. Uh, his only they just do, they just do special, special if they die. Okay. Them. All, right. All right. So moving on. Four more because there's four of us. Yep. Mage, mage, fighter, fighter. Everybody draws a room card. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do we just get to use our power when we level up? Or no? Yeah, we when you, once you build anything. Once you build the once you build five rooms on the reveal phase in XP order, you trigger the level ups. Okay. Cool. And I think you only get a level up once. Yes. Unless there's a spell card that says otherwise. There's no other default. Alright. Any spells? Reveals? Any reveal effects? Yeah. Construction zone. When I build this room, I may immediately build an additional room. Oh, good lord. So there's the dragon hatchery. That's five. So Robobo level up now. Mm -hmm. Um... What does Robobo get to do? Each opponent must choose and destroy a room in their dungeon. Jeez. Oh, Robobo is off to an stellar lead. I do not like this. Not at all. I've never won this game. Don't worry about it. Dude. <laughs> Dude. I, I would not be too too concerned. You're going to go and do it pretty quickly. <laughs> that or you're going to lose pretty quickly because that's not a lot of damage. Well, that's not a lot of damage. There's only four damage over. But that's a lot of bait. Well, you might just die. <laughs> yes, I could just die. And that's okay. Um. Yeah. All right. I guess goodbye, brain sucker. Have. Now I wish I had saved the monstrous monument. In any case. Yep. Uh. All right. Moving on to bait. How much fight? Mike, you're still two. Four. You have yeah. One. Hi. You have a lot of fighters who want to knock on your door. That's fine. Uh, money bags. He has three. I have three. I'm going to get Josh killed quick. <laughs> He's got three books, too. I got three books. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Only got one. You did. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe so what we got here? Just take a couple of them down with you. That's all, <laughs> that's all you can do. I mean, for. they're going to take him down. Yeah. No, they're not. Um, all right. So we start with Liu, the Crimson Sage. So what's the self? Eight. So he goes seven, six, five, four, five, four, three. Um, teleportation back to the start of my down. I'll, I'll fear, fear, fear him back to town. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No easy kills for you, sir. Well, mage, Gendog the Golden. He. He's four. He just dies. He's, he just dies. He, he can, four, he, three, two, dead. Uh, and once per turn, draw I draw a spell card. So. Do I like, do I like my spell card? Sure, it's I do like me survive. survive. So, the thief is Leto the Doormaster. He's a four. So. You draw another spell card. One. No, it's only no, once it's per turn. Oh, okay. So, That's three, two, balance. dead. So, there we go. We have Drew House the Lost. Uh, let's see here. So he's going to go 
of one, two, three, four, five. Go do a wound to me. Why not? Um, <laughs> Troy the Hearty. Um, let's see here. Troy the Hearty. Um, That's a D, not a T. Hearty. Okay. The Hearty. Whatever. Um, damn this thing. The Dragon Hatchery caved in. He's dead. Ooh. Destroy a room so that uh, in your dungeon, kill the hero in that room. And oh, then, uh, Sigrun the tank. Yeah, he dealt damage. Because he's That's a tank. still three souls in one turn. That's scary. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was a turn. It was. That happened. Thanks to teleportation. It's one less soul he could get. Uh, moving on? Sure. Alright. We have another fighter. A thief. A thief. So good. Yeah, that, that, oh yeah, one more. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, there was one still there. And a fighter. Low health fighters. Draw your room card, folks. Oh, that's so nice. I don't have a room that I can build that in. Oh, well. Um... <laughs> Well, Robobo has already leveled up. This is this is turn two. Rip, wow. <laughs> oh, you, you'd add? Because you got dose constructions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was dose constructions. Um, you would have had another mage as your soul total, but it got yeah, teleported. But, yeah, someone, I teleported a mage back to the front to kill it, and then he got scared shitless. Actually, no, like, actually, those first, yeah, you played that first turn pretty much almost exactly <laughs> like I would have played it with <laughs> those brain suckers. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, yeah, you got the fighter advantage. I got it. Yeah. Nothing. You can sub out now. He's got you all, yeah. all of the advantage. Yeah. Right, if you want to keep playing, no, 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 we're, we're good. All right. I was going to... Yeah, but all yeah. Here's somebody in those things. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Brilliant. Oh, and I like that one of the mage characters in this is legitimately the Blue Planeswalker from Magic. Jace. <laughs> you uh, going to build anything? Room building phase. Uh, yes. I'm going to... I'm gonna overlay. I'm gonna turn my zombie prison into a liger's den. All right. Everybody else reveal. Torture chamber. A witch's kitchen and a dizzy gas highway hallway rather. I'm going to discard a room card to draw a spell. Card. Uh, as That's for my yeah. Witch's kitchen. kitchen. All right. Any other spells during the build phase? Take that as a no. Bait mages. You have two. You have two. two. Stays in town. Uh, swords. For fighters. I've he got three. Fighters going your way. And money bags, I believe, are coming to me with three. Yep. I only got one. Oh, so that, these, I have taken two wounds so far? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Beefy tried. fighters. We yeah, tried. we got lots of fighters. Yeah, we tried. Tried. The, the tried, downside tried of tried to go and duck more on you, but... Uh, Spells. It wasn't happening. <laughs> Spells are room, room. The downside That's of the Dragon it. Hatchery is it deals no damage. <laughs> yeah. That's why everything came that way. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I believe I have to go first because, oh, look, I have the highest XP for this. Zach, the Ninjaneer, has eight. One, two. Oh, look. My, uh... My monstrous monument happens to be an annihilator monstrous monument, and it's also getting dizzy gas highway buffed. So that's another six. So I will score that thief. And since so that's the last well, Tillian turn, was he a six or an eight? He was an eight. That's why I had to play that. If he were a six, I wouldn't have cared. He gives plus five, plus three dizzy gas highway. If the next room in my dungeon is a trap room, it has plus two. Okay. So that scores me that thief, and the other thief doesn't need the annihilator, but it stays until the end turn. That is the heroes who've come to Cleopatra. Died to a monument. Go ahead and do that. All right. <laughs> Fighters. Yep. So, uh. I'll do it. I'll do it. The higher paladin. So, yep. one in the construction zone. One Three in the, the liger's den. And she oh. dies in the brain sucker hive. So, I. You get the draw spell. Yep. 
Swale, sir. And then uh, we got a. Uh, then we got Cane Wolf, who's one, two, three, four, but I can only use that once a turn. Right. So that's another two soul points for you. You're halfway to the goal. All right. All right. Draw cards. And flipping heroes. We have another thief. Another thief. Lucky Thief Day. And a mage. Happy Thief Day. We are getting close so, to the epic heroes. Okay, so how does that work? What? The whole advanced room thing. Alright, so it has to go and be of the same type, which means it has to be, like, if it's a advanced monster room, it has to go on top of a monster room, and okay. that room has to have the same tokens at the bottom of it. Okay. Thank you. I don't think it has to be the same type. Yes, it does. Advanced monster rooms go top, on top of monster rooms, and advanced trap rooms go on top of trap mm -hmm. rooms. No? As long as it matches the treasure type. As long as it matches the treasure type? Yep. That's the treasure type being the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty that much. Okay, and when do I play those? In the build phase? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You either build an ordinary room to the left of everything, or you replace a room with an ordinary room, or you upgrade an ordinary room to an advanced room. Okay, so okay, when I, when I upgrade one, do oh. I put it face Good down to on top, or do I put it You under put it face, face well, up. it's face down until we reveal, but yeah, you put it under whatever room you're gonna do, because you'll put it on top of it once you reveal it. Who's got the most teams? Who's got the money bags? Uh, yep, I think yeah, Joe has the money bags. Cleopatra is saying, come here, thieves, come to die. It's fitting that the mummy, it's fitting that the mummy has a, an actual like money treasure token. <laughs> Right. These urns are full of gold, or so these things. So I guess we're revealing. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't draw my, my room. Oh, grab your room, in case that changed things. I had another disc gas hallway. Do I just, I just start going under it? Or I just, just it, lay it, no, it goes, it goes yeah. over top, because if that room gets destroyed, the room under it, you know, gets yeah. oh, grave. Okay. Open grave, I think. Maybe. Shadow trap. <laughs> All right. Any Definitely spells for the build phase? Uh, I'm know. going to just nope. I can't go and discard a mod. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Books. Three, Three two, two, one. Yep. Trav gets the mage. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Trav gets the mages. And I'm getting the thieves because I now have four money bags. The dungeon of the rich says, "Come here, thieves." Um. Mikey dangerously, with four health, takes one in the dizzy gas hallway and then three more in the buffed up treasure, uh, torture chamber, so he dies. Whopperus, the main berserker rogue, who has Wolverine claws for hands, has eight HP. He takes one there, three there, going down to four. One more, going down to three. Another three, because dizzy gas hallways and all traps are really good. Mm -hmm. He dies. Then Scott the Griffin doesn't even make it as far as his companion. Well, actually, no, he makes it the same monstrous monument that will kill him. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Normally, six is where I need to worry about. Eight's where it could get me. Mm -hmm. Souls for Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. And I. Lou the Crimson Mage goes one, two, three, four, five. Mentor's Mage moves him back to the room before. Six, seven, eight. Yo, Mentor's, That's a good Mentor's combo. Mentor's Mage is so good. <laughs> and then. Joe, Joven Carter goes through the same demise. Fair enough. All right. Room cards, cards and and a cat and a cat. You will learn not today. <laughs> um. <laughs> like, oh, meanwhile, oh, heroes. I is boss. Mages. Clerics. Mage. Cleric. We we're very close to getting epic heroes. Build phase. Draw rooms first. Oh, I thought everybody was drawing while I was doing the... That's hilarious! But no, I'm going to build. And when that. you overlay, like, 
a, a regular room with a regular one, they don't have to match, do they? No, you're replacing at that point. Yeah. Advance is the only one that has the overlay. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> use the effect on my centipede tunnel. Oh, well. Too late now. Way too late. Alright, that's really long rooms. I get to level up. I'm going to look through the uh, hero deck. We both do, but thankfully I'll go for a different thing. <laughs> so you have to go first. But... Yeah, but you need the hero deck for your level up? Yeah. Um, I just get to choose a hero in town. Yeah, so when you build that, you automatically do that. Uh, my level up is I search the room deck or discard pile for an advanced trap room, and then I may immediately build that room. I don't think there was advanced trap rooms in there. Ha, I'll get the fool. <laughs> derp, 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 derp. I'll go. Yeah, Actually, beep, 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 beep. no point to go. Shuffle, shuffle these. There's only four or four left. They're going to get flipped regardless. Then the big Sugum are going to come out. Yeah. Big segment. Please tell me there's a... Mm -hmm. well, those are the only advanced ones, really. Well, I guess I have a choice between two different advanced traps. Sorry. Oh, in Final Fantasy XV, when Prompto, like he did in the Maddle, he, he starts like just like <laughs> humming the, the victory music. <laughs> Doing his little dance. Make a little love. Uh, get down that. What's yeah, Trav? Did you um, try the, the episode Gladio DLC? Nope. It's alright. Very to... it's more of a linear action. I can Odd, yeah. Odd, oddly enough, I've not actually finished the game. Like, I literally have like an hour, maybe two hours of, you know, gameplay left. Well, and you got I to just stop. You know that point where eventually where, where Gladio just goes, I'm going to leave for a while. Like, basically that. Oh, yeah. This is what he does when he leaves. Okay. I've okay. upgraded my Dizzy Gas Highway to a Recycling Center with Cleopatra's level up. Oh, I leveled up. You get to choose any two cards from the discard pile and put them into your hand. Nice. Uh, spell cards also. Oh. Um, there's also going to be this in the discard pile because I'm going to use Witch's Kitchen to draw a spell card. Okay, so we... Uh, oh, and I'm going to use my Jackpot Stash to destroy this room to double the treasure value of my Dungeons Rooms until the end of the turn. Okay, so you'll have four treasure. There's no thieves. I don't know why you're doing no, that. No, no, of your of all of my rooms. Oh, of all of never mind. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, there's one cleric that got mimicked, and the fool was uh, pulled via and the lumber. Where's the the discard pile for the? He's currently oh, okay. using the right. pile. Dink. And that that replaced this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also discard. Yeah. Easy come, easy go. Yeah, Cleopatra likes traps. Alright, so we've gotten all the reveal and level up stuff out of the way. Mm -hmm. And you mimic roomed a cleric. Alright, books. Uh, I, I'm currently four. sitting at uh, yeah. two doubled four. Yeah. Two, three. Three, I'm not competing for that. But unfortunately, stealing the mages. Uh, religious symbols. I have. I, yeah, that one is not me. I, I have, have two. two. We both have two, so he stays in town. Okay. You're the highest experience of the folks who have heroes. Go and handle. He dies right here with the all seeing eye. Yep. So. That's the first soul. It allows you to go and discard spells to counterspell other people's spells. Okay. It can be useful. All right, Trav, you have the fool cool. who... He takes a step, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fool. Look at me, 
shame on me. I'm going to right, so, uh, Hills Fire the Apprentice. So, uh... He's got how much health? Six. So, okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. He does! Yeah, How wonderful. It's Keanu. It's Keanu! <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Three, two, one... Nope. Fear, I'm sending him back to town. Okay. He sees those brain suckers and says, No! <laughs> Um, I'm going to also activate Torture Chamber on Trav. Uh, I may destroy this room to choose an opponent to discard a random room card. My recycling center says when another room in my dungeon is destroyed, I may draw two room cards. Nice. That one. Oh, how wonderful. How oh, really wonderful. That's kind of hilariously awesome for me. Okay. Uh, next turn, build phase. Or rather, draw. Draw. And then while I flip the heroes, you can start considering your, your build options. We get another cleric, another mage, another fighter, another cleric. That is the last of the normal heroes. Right. We're going to get advanced mobile logs with more mm -hmm. HP shortly. All right, so boom. Everybody have their builds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure I do. <laughs> Reveal. Dark Laboratory. We both have that. <laughs> so. You have higher XP, so you draw, draw first. two. Yep. Do you have a build effect, Trav? No. I build nothing. Okay. And then we have to discard a spell card. Oh, how wonderful. Ooh. Yeah. That's probably my favorite spell card picture right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, hey, Josh. Yo. Um, there's a zombie attack coming for you. What's Let me that see mean? your dead heroes. Uh, counter spell. No. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> um, and I'll also activate Witch's Kitchen. I discard a monster card to draw a spell card. Oh, that's no. I'm not doing that. I'll, I'll go and activate, which is a uh, kitchen to discard a monster room to draw a spell. Ooh, Dracolish Lair. Yep. Or am I can't play? Does any, anybody do that? Or do you have to have that card? That's, be That's from Witch's Lair. I just want to Witch's Kitchen. Uh, da, 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 da. Any other build phase spells or effects going on? Okay. I'm, I'm going to soul, soul har Harvest to go and lose a soul to draw two spell guns. cards. Fair enough. Dear sweet lord. <laughs> I need that some. Is. I need something okay. in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I got see. one card and two wounds, dude. <laughs> Any other effects, or should we go to bait phase? I'm going to play Princess in Peril to send this cleric to my dungeon. Okay. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take the four strength one. Why not? All right. Religious symbols. Nope. Got him. Yeah, I only have one, so you're getting both clerics. Uh -huh, I saw one. <laughs> okay, both the remaining clerics. Uh, swords? I, I think Trav got me beat. I got five. Three. I yeah, I got one. three. Mages, books. I have three. I have four. I have two. So, so uh, Neo comes back to the Matrix. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Anderson. We missed you. <laughs> Placing counts as strong or actually he was supposed to die here. <laughs> he was supposed to die here. <laughs> he was supposed to die here. Oh well. Whoopsies. Alright. He does here. He does here. Okay. Alright. Um Jennifer, You're first. So. I have no heroes. Okay. Um cleric dies all seeing in the uh, all seeing eye room. Yep. I was yes. reading I was reading forever text. Uh and the other cleric dies in the all seeing eye room. Alright, Bryn Hilda, the shield maiden, will end up dying in the Neanderthal cave. Savage. And Everell, the healer, will go and die long before the Neanderthal <laughs> cave in the witch's ca kitchen. Get cooked. Get cooked. <laughs> Get cooked. Glub, glub. 
All right, Whoa. so uh, Dark Worm the Usurper. So uh, I'm going to put uh, Annihilator on the Brain Sucker Hive. So it's plus three until end of turn. Mm, that's Monster Room. That's for traps. So you'd have to put on Construction Zone. Okay. Either Construction Zone works. Oh, wait, plus three damage is happening. <laughs> yeah, so well, that'll work too. Yeah. Seven. Well, notice I don't have any. Well, no, actually, you do have a Monster Room now because it helps the Witch's Kitchen. So, seven. Three, two, one, and zero. Yeah, you're, you're killing both of them unless somebody plays yeah. a spell. So I get to draw a spell card. Because of where the death happens. <laughs> and then Neo. One, four, dead. He was finally defeated in the Matrix. <laughs> he was the Matrix finally had him. Yep. Uh, that brings you up to nine or eight? Eight. eight. Nine. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah, he's in danger of winning, but we're getting epic heroes now. Uh, for y'all following at home, I have five. Will has three, three, and Trav has four. So we're all close, and he's kind of taking away with them. But uh, go ahead and yeah, draw your... when you're this close to losing, it's generally when everyone plays every spell they can against you. <laughs> well, it's also the point in the game where we have epic heroes who have a lot more health. Yeah. A lot more health. Oh, dear. Two mages and two fighters. Yeah, these mages are going to run a train on me. Card hand is five. No, that was just a starting card. So oh, okay. Size. I'm good. I mean, I could be a maximum dick at this point, but you know, I'm maximum not. dick, dude. <laughs> Go guess all skirt. I'm up to to draw a spell. I will do the same thing. I will once again build no rooms. Um, this is lame. <laughs> Well, now you're gonna at least have one other person die. I'm going to do this. You're not building, are you building? Yes. Okay. And we're eating on Will, who. I'm not building. Give... Not building? Okay. I'm replacing the Monstrous Monument with the Dark Altar. And I'm replacing uh, the Construction Zone with the Boulder Trap. Boulder not a ramp. Not a bad thing. Oh, well, you can do it that way too. Uh, I will voluntarily destroy my Dark Altar to choose one card from the discard pile and put it in my hand. That destroys both cards? Oh, I overlaid, dark, uh, replaced, rather, Monster Monument with the Dark Altar. Okay. Oh, okay. It wasn't an advanced room. Okay. That's still not gonna. I'm still gonna eat some damage this turn. You know what? Uh, that's fine. Never mind. So, have folks kind of put their rooms uh, face down yet? Or... Yeah, we just uh, flipped into the reveals. Oh, if you have I, a build face, I'll go no, for I had it. A, yeah, I, I was going to go and say no no rooms can 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 be built and built and built this turn to return all uh, the fa fa face down rooms to your hand. Oh, okay. Okay. That. It means I still have a monstrous monument there because I don't place it, so that negates everything you just did. Uh, Sorry. Well, <laughs> to an extent. To an extent, yes. I think I'm, oh, oh, I might be dead this turn. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> oh, well. This is, this, is, this is what the game does. Yeah. yeah. It, it suddenly kicks into high gear. If you're not prepared, you... Suddenly, so we, we are not prepared. <laughs> no, we are not really. This is where things like bottomless pits not. and all that stuff it comes. The really thing is, Trev, even if you, I wouldn't have like, if I even if I wouldn't mostly have, it, it, uh, that that was the go and stop Joe, and also the fact that I've not built built a room for like three turns. Oh no, those mages are gonna f my shit up. <laughs> all right, uh, spell books. Four. Yep. Yeah. Bring them here. Woo Swords. I have a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one. <laughs> I, I know where my specialty lie, and it's thieves who are easily killed for their greed. Well, it was a good run, Robobo. <laughs> Alright, um... They kill you for just trying to live? I guess... First, first, first off, Trav. Um, first one is going to go and move... 
is going to actually walk through my dungeon and put two wounds on me. The second one is going to get to the centipede tunnel, and I'm going to attempt to cave, to play cave, cave in to destroy the centipede tunnel to kill the hero. I cannot stop that. So it's worth. Two. Yeah, gold is worth Six. two. Woo. Mages. Yep. So let's see. I have one, two, four, seven. They're both thirteen. So, Tau, Tau, dead. So what are the death rules? Uh, uh, you'll have to check that one. Oh, Williams, do what? Oh, teleport either one of them. You win. Right. Okay. So, uh, so basically, yeah, be this one. So it's a. Uh, Hold on. What, oh. So you said you had seven it. damage and they have thirteen health. Yeah. Assassin. He gave plus three health. Oh, which one? The, the, the one, one that's that still active. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Hold on. So he's... So, uh... He'll be down to seven, then he gets teleported. Well, no, actually, he is down... One, two, three, four, five... Six. He's down to six. Yep. Gets teleported. Then okay. gains plus three health to be at nine. So, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, four three, three, two! two. Oh! <laughs> thank, nice try, William! But, uh... I think he gets a new boss monster. Does he have to restart his halls? Robobo went down. Yeah. Glorious start. Couldn't take it in the start of it. Though. And then at that moment, oh, drop. At that mo in that last few moments of Count Robobo realized, Lich is Robobo's true friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy's Robobo's true enemy. <laughs> the mage assassin. What's his name? The great, Gar the great Gordonzo. The great Gordonzo is secretly an assassin sent by the Queen of Mummies. Oh my god! It's David Lynch! <laughs> this eccentric magician is an enigma. He slips in and out of dimensions. His spells are written on a log. Oh no, it's Agent Cooper! <laughs> His spells are written on a log he carries everywhere, and he knows the owls are not what they seem. <laughs> is it a straight lose, or is he get a new boss monster? Try, 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 think, trying to go I know, and find, I think pretty much find the rules. On these rules, if you if you lose. if you die, you're you're out. Pretty sure it's your dead, you're out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Robobo has fallen. <laughs> Robobo's dungeon of oh doom. My god. Oh my Slayer of many. Oh my god! Agent Cooper beat Robobo to death with a magic log. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh, go ahead and draw room cards, and we'll do reveals. High level cleric, another high level cleric, a high level fighter, and a high level mage. See, that mage you would have killed regardless of my attempts at yeah. ch chicanery. Yeah, well. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. <laughs> Yay, I drew a card work. I can play. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Monsters. Monsters. No thieves, so I know that's going to be crazy. Alright, anything before we reveal rooms? It's our, um, our sorry about uh, last turn. I just you know, missed on when I was supposed to go and play that kobold. That's all right. That's why I was just like, can I build my room now? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to yeah. build my room. Right. Spectre's Sanctum, when you build this room. Oh, sorry, your room is supposed to build first. I mean, mine's just a bottomless pit. Alright. Uh, when you build this room, choose an opponent. That opponent discards a random spell card. Who has spell cards in hand? You? You. <laughs> I never wanted to play Jeopardy anyway. Oh, the Dark Lord Trebek. One of the best <laughs> art in the game, in my opinion, because evil Trebek is evil. Oh, Dark Lord Trebek. Okay. That said... What is your imminent destruction? <laughs> <laughs> uh, religion, two... One. Hi, you get two clerics. Swords, go you. Four. And I believe I now win on mages. I Three. Two. Yep. I got two. Alright. Um, I will start then, I guess. I think they all die. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They get through only. It's a bottomless pit, so I'm going to destroy it to kill a hero in this room. Man, you've been. Man, you've really been making that dizzy gas hallway work for you this game. Almost bet. That is oh, the okay. reason I play that card. I'm like, I'm going to have e either eat wounds or I'm going to eat a mage. Uh, recycling center triggers, I get to draw two room cards. Mm. My turn? 
Everything shifts down, correct? When yeah. a room is destroyed? Yep. Just making sure. Guessing it's not right now. Yep. Yep. So that only puts me up to seven, by the way. <laughs> Steve the Reborn. Steve oh, the Reborn. Steve. How you doing, Steve? Hi, Steve? Brandon Sparks Vagrant Mage is the one who fell. You tell him, Steve. The Day. Minus one. So he goes to eleven. And takes off three more. <laughs> Robobo died for your sins. Oh. Well, either way, he's dying. He's two, dying here. Two, four, five, six, seven. And discard that for five, which is kitchen. Plus two, two. This one. Okay. So thirteen. So dies. They both die in the same room. Which is the uh, beast? Man beast man menagerie. Beast menagerie. Really both strong. Clerics. Yeah, really good room. Both clerics die. That brings you up to seven. We are now tied. Is... And the fighter over there might uh, put it to get away for trap. No, apparently he's taking wounds. Oh, yep. he's, he's almost there. Um, next turn. I only had 12. Draw your rooms. Let's see if I die to thieves, because it might happen. A mage, a thief, a cleric, and a thief. I think you still got the thieves. Um, yeah, I still got the thieves. Thieves for days. Three damage to kill eleven. I'm getting thieves and mages coming my way. Not good. Um. Hmm. At this point, I just have have to hope the heroes kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Last, okay, I know what I'm building. Last uh, last succubus standing. <laughs> so, uh, can we replace a room? Okay, does it have to be the same type if you're just replacing If you're it? replacing, no. It no, can be just going. Oh. It doesn't count as destroying that room for purposes of things like recycling center. So. I will uh, discard for Witcher's Kitchen to draw a spell. Well, that's kind of hilarious. Hey, uh... Hey, Trav. Yeah, man. What's the, uh... What's the dead epic hero you have? He is a 13 fighter. Zombie attack. All right. <laughs> He's going back through. And he's got plus two? Yep. Okay. And I have to play that in the build phase. Okay. Uh, reveals. Just um, this. I'm building another bottomless pit. Bottomless pit plus recycling center OP. The new nerf priest. <laughs> nerf priest. <laughs> you got a spell? Anybody got spells? Uh, yeah, I have one spell. Get rid of it. I'll turn this monster's ball. Go and overlay this monster's ball room. I lose a freeze. No. No. Okay. Uh, books. I have three. You get the books. That's all you did. I know I get thieves. Yep. Cleric, I believe, goes him. So, um... Yeah, this is not going to be cr incredibly fun for me, but thankfully these are all two wound heroes. So, um, Figs the Liberator will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but hit me. Arog Neko Ninja is someone I hate, and I'm just going <laughs> to... And I'm using the pit, a bottomless pit to pit trap him, so I will get him to kill. That only brings me to 9... Get to draw two cards for recycling center. And the other mage is going to take a nice little walk and hit me in the face for two. I have a uh, chaplain of G Gim? Jim? Gim? Gim? Gimme? How's it spelled? Colonel. Chaplain of Gim with no vowels involved. Yes. <laughs> G -H -M. G -H -M. So, uh, Someone did not go and pass uh, elementary English. <laughs> So, one, two, three. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to go, go, go and make him a assassin again, plus 3 health. Assassin! Oh! Assassin Gim! Okay. I mean, I'm about about to die, so... <laughs> Apparently so am I. No, you're still alive. We're I mean, both at, on the death door. So I only actually have uh, have 14, and he's a 15 straight, straight, <laughs> straight, strength hero, so he kills me. The <laughs> zombies... Zombies and mummies get along great, apparently. Okay. This is the sound it makes when golems cry. <laughs> well, the last four heroes, it's literally coming down to Fighter, Parathes, and a Cleric. Thankfully, it's going two and two, but it won't matter terribly. Oh, I wish I had known about that one sooner. I may be in trouble regardless. <laughs> I have to deal 13 damage to these. Uh, first things first, I'm going to use which is kitchen. Yep, wrong pile. I hope I get a spell to help me. That won't help me much, I don't think, at all. Unless I can somehow get you killed. Well, your turn, turn goes first, so. Well, yeah, but I have an option to build, which I think I might. Clock's ticking, goodness. How, how many? How many? You have one treasure bag. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot get few enough treasure bags. <laughs> That's what you think. I'm going to freeze my recycling center. Which does? Uh, keep, choose keep those, those guys in town. Choose and deactivate one room in any dungeon. It, it has no damage, treasure, or abilities until the end of the turn. Oh, so wait, now I have, still have two, two. Two treasure bags, so you gotta get down to one to keep those guys there. Do you have a spell card in hand? No, I do not. If you think I'm kidding. No, I believe you. Okay. I will be building. This is where is where you go and build build over your tre tre treasure room so the thieves kill him first. Yeah, that's kind of what <laughs> he has to do. Well, play will. Do it. I'm good. You sure? I'm good. Okay. I replaced the dizzy gas hallway with a haunted library because there's no mages left. I'm just saying, they would kill kill him before they killed you. Doesn't matter now, we both got one. Yeah, but you could kill him. Swords then... go to you. Thieves stay in town. Cleric goes to you. No, that's it. These guys are only a level 11? Yeah. Well, you killed kill both of them, so... Yeah, that's why it didn't really matter. It's like, I'm avoiding death because I need one more room. But just think, if you killed I could have used this else. otherwise. I could have been that much of a dick and did that. Damn it. I didn't feel that. Yeah, I drew Crushinator a little too late. Uh, he's going to kill and win by soul victory, rather than by last monster standing. <laughs> Which is a moral victory for Cleopatra, because she lived. Well, tech... Te technically, last monster standing doesn't actually mean you win. <laughs> you just are, are the last mob. Wow, monster standing, you actually uh, fail, fail to go and win per the rules, I believe. But with that said, eight. that was pretty hysterical. No, or only one player is still in the game. Really? Okay. Yeah, that is actually awesome. an official tiebreaker rule. Indeed. Yeah, I, got no. I got 11 points. That's sweet. Yeah, if both of us had died in that round, which I knew he wouldn't, unfortunately... Then we there's a tiebreaker rule, but we didn't get there because well the boss monster of today is Zyzax. The lich, itch. the lich that could stitch. <laughs> the lich that gave stitches. That's All it, right, folks. We just uh, finished up boss monster for Will's victory and uh, decided to get everybody on camera or the vague attempt because Travis disappeared on us. Uh, just to recap real quick, I know you're the one who requested this, mm -hmm. but uh, what's your opinion of the game? Uh, I like it just because, one, it's fun, it's super quick, uh, I mean... I think that was one of the longest games I've ever played of it. All, like, good bit of the heroes are really cool pop culture references. Like, ironically enough, the hero that actually finally killed me is a conglomeration of several Twin Peaks characters. 
and I just realized that, and it was awesome. So it was an honor to be killed by the great Gordonzo, beaten to death by his magic law. <laughs> and I think you were also the character that got targeted most because that early lead made you have a oh, big that's the thing about this game is, I mean, yeah, the generally the nail that sticks up gets hammered down hard. Yes, and and the Lich was the the golem's best friend. All for naught at the end, unfortunately. <laughs> because the mummy had a secret agent. <laughs> no, uh, I just happened to have the right card to keep you from winning out right there. Yeah. And then I still couldn't turn around to win the game just by turn order. Unfortunately, I didn't have the strength left by destroying my own rooms a little too much. The thing often. is, is it doesn't, it doesn't like, you don't win just by having enough to kill like the regular level monsters. You have to plan ahead for the epic, epic level, heroes. Which I wasn't prepared for that. And now, granted, you almost won on just regular heroes because of that treasure room play. Oh, yeah. And that first play when Mike was subbing in of just getting all the heroes to mm -hmm. go straight to you. Yeah. So it can happen. It's just very difficult it's very to have difficult. happen. Yeah. I kind of played ahead. Because it gets to the point where it's like, yeah, we're running out of we're running out of uh, regular heroes. It's just like, okay, time to start thinking ahead to when we get to get get past those guys and get to the epic ones. So you play for the long game and you set up a dungeon that could kill. I could kill by one shots. That right. wasn't enough when I was lacking one you crucial had, like, point. The monster menagerie, which is probably one of the highest damage monster rooms in the game. Yeah. Uh, uh, the only thing I think that beats that is the one that. Basically, is power equal to the number of monster rooms you have? Yeah. Yes. So I saw that, one. I saw that one, and I was like, Nah, I don't think I have enough monster rooms. And I had a bunch. I had a lot of trap rooms, though. Yeah. Well, my dungeon was pretty much all trap rooms for most of the game. I had a, the only non-trap room was my witch's den thing, so I could keep getting spells. And this is just. I mean, this is just the base. until I did the replacement, not to die. The base set is only two to four players, but if you get the sci-fi expansion, it actually does have more cards and rules for a five-player game. Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested in the the scoring variant on that one because uh, it's what instead of wounds being loot game loss, you stay in and it's uh, yeah. minus one point. Yeah, reach. basically. Uh, once you get five wounds, you don't die, but at the end of the game, you subtract the amount of wounds you have by your total. So if you, you had five wounds at the end, you would still only have net five points at the end of the game. <laughs> True, but you would have still drawn a lot of monsters, mm -hmm. making it harder for us to score points. Mm -hmm. So in the long run, that variant, just the different rules would have made quite potentially a, a much different game of, in terms of end results. Mm -hmm. And also, the sci-fi expansion has a new uh, treasure type, Explorers. Oh, wonderful. It's got a little, like, phaser, little phaser gun symbol on there. <laughs> to boldly go where no one has gone before and get murdered <laughs> like the red shirts they are. <laughs> uh, in any case, unless Trav wants to say anything from off-screen... Nope, and, I'm good. Yeah, that <laughs> was a fun... Fun game. Lots of folks died. <laughs> Lots <laughs> yeah, of folks died. Lots of folks were threatened to be dead. Uh, um, did anyone end with less than four wins on them? Uh, no, we ended with bo both of us had four wins on us. Nice. And the only reason I didn't die as well was because I'd made that trickery play. And not that it would have mattered. Mm -hmm. But, uh. Oh, it would have mattered. The moral victory. Oh, well, uh, yeah. You yeah. Die. <laughs> yeah, there was the moral victory for the rest of y'all watching me die. There was my moral victory of going, I lived, bitches. <laughs> um. I guess that's it for this episode of Rage Quit Radio. Feel free to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Par no Pinterest? We don't have Pinterest. Why do I keep thinking we have Pinterest? I don't know. Because well, don't check Pinterest, guys. <laughs> You're not going to find anything. I mean, there's a lot of cool I mean, stuff could, on Pinterest. We're just not on it. <laughs> Which means it's obviously not that cool. Oh, Periscope. That's what I was thinking of and just completely flubbed it. <laughs> Woo! You can tell we record multiple games in one day. Um, oh, K fame back. Joe, K <laughs> He's wearing the same shirt <laughs> and the same hat. Well, to be fair, he always wears that hat. Yeah, the, the, the hat is ubiquitous. Well, don't don't feel bad. I keep I have to keep stopping myself from saying Periscope. I'm saying, when you say Periscope, you say Patreon. So yeah, and I'm, as far as I know, we're not on Patreon. So not yet, not yet. Maybe in the future. Actually, there's many I many varied things. Could because then you would actually get paid. Which means that Patreon, there, there's more, some legal stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, there's Patreon. legal stuff going on with Patreon that will allow you. That will yeah. allow. But anyway, it's back to the game. Yeah, yeah, we're looking into that for a future. But uh, if you do want to support us with some sort of monetary investment, feel free to check out our Cafe Press store, mm -hmm. where you can get nifty items such as the Rage Quit Radio hat, your favorite Chop Saki Cinema T-shirt. Hashtag, hashtag Sincere Shaolin Fist. Me too. <laughs> he says it so well. 
Uh, and does 8-Bit Anime have any particular shirts you want to hype at the moment? Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> you walked in the door. We're using Target. Free plug time. Like... It's her plug here. <laughs> but, uh, I believe the new shirt of uh, the anime, ASR Anime oh, yeah. Fight Club that was the new shirt that mm -hmm. was down there. All right. So uh, that's another one that we probably want to plug there. That's Fair okay. enough. But from all of us here at RQR, I'm your run in the know, Mr. Joe, joined by... William. And Jack. R.I.P. Robobo. <laughs> and and Coop from off screen. Too soon. Bro. Too soon. <laughs> we wish you all to have a good night and stay frosty out there, folks. <laughs>